Cathedrals of the World, published at £22 through bibliophilebooks.com, just £10. Very unusually shaped book, measuring 8 inches across by 14 inches. And absolutely gorgeous, as you can see. Very beautifully designed. Here's the contents. I'll run you down some of this. It really is a tribute to the world's best ecclesiastical architecture. It's 36 buildings erected over 15 centuries from the 6th to the 21st century in 21 countries. No, no, 12 countries, sorry, 12 countries across Europe, America and Asia. Seen from the point of view of construction techniques, like beautiful gothic arches and vaulted ceilings like this one, stained glass, that's the Notre Dame Cathedral. It's much more humble beginnings like Santa Polinaria class in Ravenna, Italy. And for each it gives the location, style, surface area, type and when it was built. And brings out details of icons and artworks to be found within the walls. This is the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul. Yep. I know because I've been there and it's absolutely stunning. Center images from the Great Dome, South Gallery, where Christ is depicted. Here's the facade of St. Mark's in Venice. I really should have the camera lengthways on for this to show the depth that they create in these stunning photographs given the shape of this book. Notre Dame. And this is a superb example of the perpendicular style. So we have Ely Cathedral, Durham Cathedral, St Andrews at Wells, quite a lot within Britain before we're taken abroad. We showed a lot of marble statuary as well and bronzes by Benini, tombs, organ pipes, stained glass windows, stunning facades in these iconic cathedrals. It really is a beautifully designed and manufactured tome and a beautiful treatment of the subject in 212 very glossy pages cathedrals of the world.